Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Jamie Plays with me, Jamie. Today we are starting a new playthrough as the Romulan Star Empire. So uh, this is an empire that I've played uh, a couple of times, love to do it. Um, it will be interesting to see with the new kind of Borg mechanics how that all plays out. Um, yes, but we're just going to jump right in. So it's been more than 1,500 years since our ancestors left Vulcan our original homeworld, to escape the poisonous ideology of Surak and his followers. After a long journey, we found the perfect system to settle. We were no longer Vulcans, we were Romulans, prouder than ever before. We have founded our star empire to protect our values, and we eventually did prove Surak wrong. Our empire has grown more powerful and far more secure than Surak's Vulcan could ever hope to be. But we must not underestimate our enemies. We must maintain... Uh, we must remain vigilant. Our Senate and Praetor must always choose the best course of action to protect all Romulans. Romulan Mantra. Misdirection is the key to survival. Never attack what your enemy defends. Never behave as your enemy expects, and never reveal your true strength. If knowledge is power, then be unknown, then to be unknown is to be unconquerable. Great. So we are going to go for the default, so all empires. 100% um, of empires. And yeah, so this is how we start off. We start off with these systems. Um, and what I'm going to do in the early game for the next probably couple of episodes, we're going to be pushing and expanding as much as possible. And then we really need to build up because the Federation will be an issue. The Klingons down here will definitely be an issue. Um, they're usually very strong and we need to become strong as a result. So let's take our science ship. Let's move you... Um, how to expand. Let's move you down this way first. We will build another science ship, uh, which we cannot do right now, but we should be able to do, I think, next month. So, science ship, let's start exploring down here, I think, because these are the systems that are more contested. Let's do that with that science ship. Um, this construction ship, let's go here and build that mining station, and then we will build that research station. Um, oh, so because we're in Grand Admiral, we can go for the extra challenge mode. Yes, let's do this. Let's go with like the extra challenge. So, and on Remus, um, we have two people without jobs. And, oh yeah, not enough minerals yet to do anything else. Let's go for, in our research, the opt optical computer. Let's go for diplomacy or slavery. And let's go for the uh, polarized hull plating as well. I have important information for you. Uh, go away, Q. We don't need you. Yeah. Yeah. Romulan one. We don't need your minerals. And let's increase the speed as well. Great. So on Remus, we need a city. We need 16 water ice. Oh, we should get that right now. There we go. So that's a city. We then will also need a job. Um, Remus is not good habitability at all. Um, why don't we go for the frontier hospital? That will give those two, a Reman and a Romulan their jobs. Species, the Remans are given residence rights. That's right, that sounds okay. On Romulus, oh, you need a city as well. And we'll do that at the start of the next month, which is right now. Like that. Perfect. So the Garidian Republic is our vassal. Oh, let's do Institute for Slave Labor. And let's now go for the uh, science and engineering station. Yes, that sounds good. Um, are the Garidians going to expand? Probably not. Unfortunately. So that's the city. That's the city and the hospital. In fact, you also do need a job. Uh, entertainment center. That's important. 
And these colonies, um, let's give you... Oh, we can give you entertainment centers as well. Let's do that there. And Romy will do the same thing as well. And then these will be set. Let us um, do domestic suppression because there's literally nothing else to do at the moment. And we will then go for the entertainment center there. Just like that. Okay. So you are going to be doing all of that. Yep, that's perfect. Imperial construction the architect has completed the construction of the research station. Let's now have you move down here. Build that mining station. Oh, did it not click? Yeah, it did. Okay. Things are just being weird at the moment. Probably because it was changing the month and calculating things and yeah. Abnormal conditions. Um, we'll surely cross more regularities, regularities like this as we survey new planets. So, magnetic fe strong magnetic field plus 5 energy and plus 5 research for physics, specifically. Scientific breakthrough. So, new research. Let's go for... Oh, the Zatvash. I don't know what that does, because of course this is a new addition since I've last played the Romulans. Um, let's go for the Zatvash and see what happens. Okay, so let's now move you here, and we'll build that research station. And then we'll come here and we'll build those mining stations once we're able. Frontier Hospital, City and Entertainment Center. And those have jobs. Yep, perfect. First fleet can upgrade. 112. Maybe let's not do that quite yet. Let's go for... The... Uh, oh. We don't have any of these special uh, resources within our borders. Let's go for the next stage thruster. And let's also... Great house? Wait, what is that? Mantenius class. I can't even see what it is, because there's nothing there. Okay. Never mind. Scientific breakthrough. New research. Let's go for the... Um, ooh, plasma disruptor, I think. We're about to get the Zatvash. Um, let's not do this. Let's leave B for now. I want you to move around, really. New research. Let's go for the Militia Academy. And let's go to our edicts and see what that was. Oh, uh, let's go for the research grants. And support the Zatvash. That gives us government ethics attraction, unity, and trained officers. Uh, we don't need this at the moment. And you hear how 156. Imperial construction project complete. So let's go here and do those mining stations, and then we will send you there. I guess for right now we could actually do the upgrades. We have enough. That's not the issue. And Starbase, we need another shipyard. Yep, you're moving there. That will wait. Oh, I never built another science vessel. That was stupid of me. Um, science ship there. And another one. Um, the admonition. Praetor, we have been contacted of an untraceable channel by the mysterious Conclave of Eight, a clandestine organization within the Tal Shiar. They operate outside all jurisdiction and with a singular purpose, to stop the Seb Sheneb, the destroyer, from bringing about the Day of Annihilation. The group call themselves the Zatvash and have invited us to send one of our scientists the coordinates provided to discover why their purpose will not only save the Romulan Star Empire, but the whole galaxy. We must investigate at once. Set course for Aya. So let's set course for Aya. Let's do that research project. And then we will continue to survey that system like that. 
So, new research. Let's go for the... Uh, oh, Naval Supply Depot. That sounds good. This science ship, let's give you a scientist. Um, this one. And then let's say, continue... Actually, you search... This, you survey this way. Like that. Senator Vrax... Uh, oh, is now available. Actually, can we... What we could do is we could already set Romulus as the uh, frontier. Yep, and then physics research. Perfect. So all of our planets, I'm just going to keep... I'm not really going to create a sector, just this one sector for Romulus. Oh. Actually, maybe that won't work. Uh, anyway, let's just continue. Um, so let's go for... Supremacy, I think, is good for Romulans. Or Discovery. This helps with research. No, let's go for Supremacy. Or Frontier. Colony development speed. Influence cost. You know what, let's go for Frontier for right now. And then we'll go for Supremacy. So this science ship, let's recruit another leader. Uh, you are the youngest. And let's send you this way like that Imperial construction project complete. great i'm happy you finished your construction let's also give you an admiral domestic suppression recruit an admiral uh, you are the youngest and i'll just i'll just go for you because you'll be around for the longest Yep, and you're going in there. Perfect. The admonition. Yep, they're still... Scientific oh, scientific breakthrough. New research. Let's go for the main engineering console. Yep, yeah, perfect. And this construction ship is doing well. So now we're figuring out what the admonition is, which is from Star Trek Picard. The Zadvash handler has seen the effects of the admonition on many minds over the years, and few could survive the terrible message, and it looks like um, our scientist will be joining the list of victims as they lay screaming on the dead surface of Aya. They may recover in time and join the ranks of the Zadvash to fight the future that was presented in the admonition, a future where all, all organic life is wiped out by the relentless force of the synthetic life, a future the Zatvash is determined to prevent. Good news. Oh, well, he didn't die directly. The Zatvash are an ancient and secret Romulan cabal of Tal Shiar operatives. According to sources, it was thousands upon thousands of years old and has reportedly predated the departure of the Romulan people from Vulcan. In Romulan terms, uh, Zatvash is used to refer to the dead, the only reliable keeper, keeper of secrets. Their sole purpose is to pre prevent the utter destruction wrought by the synthetic destroyer, the Seb Sheneb, contained within the admonition. They dedicated themselves to eliminating synthetics so as to prevent another such event. Subsequent generations of Zatvash would also submit themselves to admonition so as to strengthen themselves for their task. The last question remains, should we embrace the Zatvash or reject it? So, embracing will open up specific storylines and gameplay features unique to this faction. A new edict will be available that, when activated, will empower the Zatvash to act against the rise of synthetic life. As a result of the edict, the Romulan Star Empire will be severely restricted in its use of AI technology. Or, reject it. We'll limit the Zatvash-related side missions and flavor from this playthrough. Major storylines may still occur, but will be limited. No, let's go for embrace. Let's go for the flavor. And it's what the Romulans did anyway. So let's embrace it. New research. Oh, nothing else. Imperial construction project. So that's built there. Oop, coup rumblings. For several months now, the Minister of War has expressed her disdain for Praetor Valderi's defense policy in increasing public, increasingly public forums, arguing that Romulan shipyards could support a navy over twice its current size. They've begun agitating for rapid expansion. She's so far kept the minister in place, but she's grown paranoid to the possibility of a 
force change of leadership. So let's give you an upgrade again. And what we can do, let's get rid of these two fleets. I don't want it to accidentally build something that I'm not ready for. And for right now, we only have the rear class. Let's go... Let's go for 15 rear class vessels. Oh, the people support Valderi. The Admiral dies. And now the Valderi now has the revered trait. Oh, nice. So if we look here... Oh, that's the Gridian Republic. What am I doing? I'm going here to government. Valderi is now revered. Ooh, I wonder what that means then. And our agenda is to grow the economy. Um, so, provide more information. Um, more expensive and slower, but they'll provide higher evasion chances. I think the Romulans went for the low temperature thrusters because of cloaking technology. Um, let's give you an upgrade. And let's go for the... Oh, nothing there. Hold on. Upgraded just in time for... Yeah, the Plasma Disruptor. Let's now go for the Hardened Fields. And let's give you another upgrade. Oh, and recruit a new Admiral, because the other one tried to overthrow my Praetor. Fun times. So, Romulan First Fleet. Yep, you're there. Oh, sci another scientific breakthrough. Let's now go for the... Uh, how are we doing for Cordrazine? Currently producing zero. Okay, so we'll need to change that. Let's go for the regional capital first, though. That can be used in more places. You are... Oh, no, let's survey. And then investigate. And then... Um, continue round here like this uh, a commendable initiative so we're going to find more habitable planets we will not tolerate Garrett is considered overwhelming so we definitely need to build up our fleet okay so to do that what we can always do is buy alloys so let's sell off some of our supplies and our minerals and some food and go for alloys, as many as possible. Like that. Then we can build four ships. Which is perfect. So we'll double our fleet. Norcan has been surveyed. Good. How much longer do you have? So let's take you and go up here. You need 37 more alloys. Yeah, can't do anything about that right now, unfortunately. So we'll just leave you there. This is always kind of the problem with the Romulans um, in the beginning. They're not producing a lot of alloys. And they need to become very strong very quickly. But also... Um... I guess let's research that. Woohoo, another upgrade. Uh, let's not do that yet. We'll wait for those two to be built and then upgrade them all together. Um, let's go for the... Oh, the beam weapons. Let's do that. Because that's what we have. Envoy assassinations. Our security services compelled a list of envoys... They are targeting us. Revise list. Well, the only people we know are the Gridian Republic, so that's who it would be. So let's let's not do anything. We will not tolerate because, yeah. Oh, you are disloyal to us. You are Thorter, militarist, and spiritualist. Let us... Um, Go for domestic suppression and, yeah, low-intensity operations again. So now, first fleet, you can upgrade. So, upgrade. 
Oh look, Talonian Crystals. Good thing we went for the beam weapon research. So you've been upgraded. How much more do we need? We need 22. So in two months, we shall be fine. Uh, ooh, fascinating. That's nice, I guess. Romulan Shipyard, nothing to do there yet. Traditions, let's go for the influence costs decrease. And let's go for more research. Let's go for the import luxuries one. And we can now go for the starbase. We'll build a starbase there. We'll then um, m mine all of this, and then we will build one in Iota Pavonus. So, um, Habitable World Survey, okay. Scientific breakthrough. No, image them for the archives. And new research? Oh, let's go for automatic exploration. That will just make everything a little bit easier. You do the mining, and then... Ooh, okay. Not quite yet. But we'll then move to Iota Pavonis to build that star, uh, star base. Scientific breakthrough, import luxuries. Let's now go for the monthly influence increase. Yes. And you can upgrade again, but I'm... Oh, and we get uh, we get alloys back. Good. Now let's go and build another outpost there. Another scientific breakthrough. Oh, we can do Talonian crystals. Uh, let's go for the interceptor. You're doing the mining stations. Um, I will keep you here to build all of the mining stations as well. So once we build this one, I need to interrupt the flow of commands. Okay, so mining stations and then, then build a starbase. Uh, this is beneath us. The envoy must die. Send in an agent to carry out the task. Let's do that. We're not using the envoy at the moment anyway. Actually, in fact, we should probably should be improving our relations with the Garidian Republic. Can I send multiple? Well, I could send multiple. At the moment, they're not doing anything. Let's send two of them. What if, cause what if I meet somebody else in the next year? Okay, so after the Ion Pavonus, we will go over here. Yeah, because that's going to take a little t bit of time. Actually, it might not be a bad idea to create another construction ship. And we can use that one to help us expand. Um, not going to reinforce at the moment. Okay. This construction ship, let's go to the um Devlin system. Now let's go to Norkant. Let's just follow that. Follow the path that's been set out. Um here let's go for the uh short range defenders. Oh, um I'll have you research as well. So that could be useful. Um, let's go for the domestic suppression again, and just low intensity. I, again, I don't want to disrupt relations with the Gridian Republic, because, yeah, that would be stupid. They're my vassal. Let's go for a bunker network. Um, let us... So, how would the Romulans go like this? We don't want to follow the ship. Now, is it in our space? No, it's not. Uh, let's leave orbit. We don't want a confrontation. It wasn't a complete waste because we got some... Um, yeah, scientific research because of it. Uh, you... Ooh, 
new research, let's go for the colony development speed. So once you do that, come back for an upgrade and then go for go explore automatically. Same thing here. And same thing. Oh, we've done that one. I was moving up the list there. So you'll be there in 200 days. You will be there in 200 days as well. Should we upgrade you? That would take literally everything we have. Let's not do that yet. New research. Let's go for the Riemann crew. Ah, here. Why don't we do some upgrades here if possible? The answer is no, it's not possible. An odd report. Oh, central command must be informed. This is just like the, the ones we saw in the Cardassian playthrough that's just finished where there was a box floating and we found it and it was reports on the Romulan Star Empire. Unknown territory explored. Yeah, let's not worry about that. Um, here, let's go for administrative capacity, starbase maintenance. Administrative capacity. I think that's good. Yeah, I still don't want to upgrade you if that's going to take everything that I have. So I need to expand, really. Although I also need to become strong, so that's that's the difficulty. This balance. I also need... it would be nice to create more alloy foundries. You're about to get the regional capital within the next year. These ones have no jobs. Okay. Um... Let's research that. Scientific breakthrough. Let's now go for the pharmaceutical factory. Here, how would you? It'd still be 180. Okay. Let's go for the mining stations. New research. Let's go for the shield hit points. And you are almost finished. So we'll go for the mining stations and the research stations. And then... You will move here and build an outpost. And you will also move to Devlin and build an outpost. Ooh, special project. Let's say intriguing. New Senate missions. So where is that mission? Oh, it's here. Um, let us... Let's get the derelict ship, if possible. And then... Survey the rest of the system, and then you know what, go for upgrades and automatically explore. Special project completed. They were found dead, and it was disturbing they'd be killed some highly advanced brain parasites. Well, that sucks. So we didn't really get much from that. We didn't get a ship, for example. But it could have been worse. So, new research. Let's go for the... Oh, fleet command limit would be nice. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the leader cost for just for right now. Scientific breakthrough. And new research. Let's go for the artificial singularity core. These are, are the equivalent, the Romulan equivalent of a warp core. But one ship. So we do have the interceptors. Let's add interceptors to this fleet. So we can have four interceptors. Unknown territory explored. Okay, you will then... So you're building your star base. That's good. Um, again, domestic suppression, low intensity. Imperial Mining and complete. research stations. And then do a star base there. You are still moving there to build your Star Wars. Ooh, Epsilon Phoenicius would be nice. Uh, new research. Let's go for uh, planet specialization. You could upgrade for 160. You know what? Let's do that. Imperial fleet upgraded. Good. Okay, so we're almost done with the starbase. 
Imperial construction project complete. And do that, and then we will move there. Because that way, then you'll be finished. Scientific breakthrough. Ooh, scientific breakthrough. We can actually then build a mining station there. Ooh. Yeah, okay, it did that one. And then come down here and build the outposts. New research. Let's go for the operation station. Yeah, so we're not doing too badly in ex in terms of expansion, although we are letting our fleet going to w not to waste. That's the wrong term. But yeah, it could be better. Let's go like that and then move there. Ooh, Telonian crystals as well. That's nice. On Remus, you need a job. So I probably shouldn't have put the Frontier Hospital. I should have put something else. But yeah, it's all right, I think. I'll give you job soon enough. Actually, I could move it. Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, let's go for an alloy foundry. Might as well. That will give us some jobs. Actually, in fact, I am going to resettle you onto Romulus. Unknown territory explored. Uh, Epsilon Phoenicius. Oh, that's good. Um, Hakona system. We will do this once this is finished uh, surveying. Yep, like that. Imperial fleet upgraded. Koshep fleet. In fact, you could upgrade again, but I'm not going to. There's no need to do it. No need to have them at the absolute latest and greatest technology. New research. Let's go for shields. And you can upgrade oh only for 28 yeah i'll definitely take that thank you very much and you let's do an outpost there okay i'm going to put a cut in here because we've gone past the half an hour mark i hope you have enjoyed this episode if so please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you next time for another episode of jamie plays bye for now